Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Gemini for mid-March of 2020. All right, in this video, you are going to get the message from Spirit and some energy healing at the end to go along with it. The monthly readings are up, so you can check them out on my channel. And also make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell notification if you want to get notified when I have new videos coming out. I also just did one on the coronavirus um, and energy healing for you. So if you're panicking, if you're feeling stressed, you definitely want to check that one out as well. All right, so let's see what's going on for mid-March 2020 for Gemini's. Um, I also have my 21 days to opening and accelerating your psychic abilities. So if you're stuck at home, this is a perfect time to learn how to connect to your abilities more. It'll help you, you know, navigate what's happening. It'll help you kind of, you know, use your intuition more and get stronger with that. So you can check that out in the description box below. All right. So your overall energy here is the two of cups. So that made me think about my 21 days because this is about a stronger connection. This is about a partnership. So, you know, for some of you, this could be a partnership with the divine. So you could be having a spiritual awakening. Um, the monthly readings in the middle of March were a lot of them were like tower moments, things falling apart, which makes complete sense now because of everything going on with the coronavirus. So if you're staying at home, if you're, you know, together with your partner or whatever, you might be able to get a stronger bond there. And then if this isn't resonating with the physical, because remember, these are general readings, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't and check out your moon and rising signs. But if this isn't resonating with you in the physical form, this is going to be a stronger connection with the divine. This is going to be able to use your intuition more and connect and hear messages and feel messages and you know, get the messages that your spirit guides are trying to bring to you because for many of you, I feel like they are trying to. This is a, a new journey for you. So the full card, you have the sun, you have the three of pentacles and you have the 10 of pentacles. So whatever you're thinking about doing, do it. You've got, I feel like you need to take the leap of faith here. All right. So this might be, again, like I said, with a lot of people staying home, I think a lot of people are going to be awakening to a new way of life and realize how stressed they are at work and realize like they have to change something. And that's what I'm feeling like for you. This is the healing card. So there might be a leap of faith that you have to take and jump into the healing, jump into, you know, connection, this, this partnership over here. It's going to take some work, but the result of it is the 10 of pentacles. So whatever you're striving for, because they're making me feel like, um, they're showing me like over here, but then we jump over here. So Whatever road you're on, you really have to ask yourself, like, is this, is this resonating with me? Is this where I want to be? Is this fulfilling me? Right? Because when we are in alignment, we feel fulfilled. We feel like the universe has our back. We feel like everything's going right. So you got to ask yourself, are you in alignment with that? But they're jumping me over here. So it's like, you're going to jump ship. <laughs> you're going to jump ship. You're going to make some changes. And you're going to start to heal a little bit more. You're going to start to see the sunrise. You all this vibrant energy that's been dormant for so long is going to start coming up. Okay. Now you got the five of pentacles. You have the queen of swords. You have the magician and you have the page of swords. So to me, this is all about boundaries. And for you, this might be spiritual boundaries and it might be um, personal boundaries um, within like self boundaries. So this might be make sure that you're meditating, make sure that you're going to the gym, make sure that you're eating healthy um, because the five of the pentacles is like feeling left out in the cold. So this is when you decide to jump ship, don't expect everybody to jump with you. And that's okay. That's okay. They don't have to understand. They don't have to agree. All they have to do is respect it respect your decisions. And this is when the boundaries come in and the magician here. It's like you're manifesting your future. You're finally on board. You're finally in alignment here, but you've got to make that decision and you've got to be okay with not everybody following you. All right. Cut them out, right? Page of swords, cut it out, cut them out, cut whatever out situation or whatever. That's not in alignment with you. All right. So 
Don't feel that loneliness. I know a lot of people are stuck at home. You know, get on online communities. Come to my community. We're going to be, you know, I've just made that decision. We are going to be vibing it up this month because everybody's going to be stuck at home. So, you know, come to my community on Facebook and really kind of like don't feel that loneliness. If you feel loneliness, then, you know, reach out. Um, yeah. All right. Let's see. Oh, OK. Two of them. Yeah, so totally the message here. You got the, if I can pick it up, the dragonfly and live life to the fullest. So there's something that you're not happy with right now. Something that you're kind of unsettled is the word that I'm getting. And it's time to really decide, do you want to live this life? Or do you want what is in your in your mind's eye and in your intuition that's calling you? Um, and you got the peacock, which is raise your standards. So again, are you just settling? Are you settling for what is in front of you instead of going out and grabbing what you want? All right. So we're going to do some energy healing. Um, I'm not going to do the music. The mid-months, I do some breath work. And then the monthlies, you can check out the music, which everybody loves as well. All right. So um, if you haven't done this with me before, I'm just going to connect the, to the divine energy in order to release any blockages or trapped emotions within your energy field. And I always go in with an intention so this is really just going to kind of like um, wipe away the fears of going after what you want here and really opening your eyes and clarity as well. OK, so just close your eyes for a minute and take a deep breath in. And go ahead and let it out. And take another deep breath in. and go ahead and let it out now keep just breathing in and breathing out you can breathe in one two three four hold it one two three four let it out one two three four okay i'm going to be chiming throughout so just go with the flow here whatever thoughts come in just let them come in and let them flow out go ahead you can have whatever you want your life can be yours Your angels are around you, guiding you, protecting you, taking you by the hand. Whatever you want is what you can have. Live your life by your standards. Raise those standards. Don't settle for what you don't like. Don't settle for what is just given to you. Go out and get what you need and what you want. Your angels are with you. Your angels are guiding you. You have it within you. You have the ability. You just have to make the decision. Make the decision for your future. Make the decision for yourself. I let go of any fear that comes in because I know it is not real. And I know it is holding me back from what I truly, truly deserve and what I truly, truly want out of my life and what I'm being called to do and what I'm being called to see. I will not let fear run my life. I will not let other people run my life. I am the master of my life. I am the decision maker of my life. And with the right mindset, I can do whatever I put my mind to. I can have whatever I choose to have. I am love. I am loved. And I am capable. Deep breath in. And just release that, blow that out. Okay, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like that energy healing, if you like the reading. Um, I hope that was good for you. I hope it motivates you because you really are. You deserve so much in life. So everything that you want is possible. So go out and get it. And especially right now, do not let the fears of whatever's happening in the world conquer what you want. You can still get it. This will pass. So get yourself ready, get yourself ready to, you know, make that jump when everything is kind of like back to normal, 
right? Just get yourself ready, educate yourself, you know, get your, your mind straight, let things go, get things done. Like this is the time to get all of that stuff in order so that, you know, at the end of this month, you can jump into whatever it is that you want to do. All right, go ahead and leave me a comment if you like this energy healing, if you like the breath work, um, you know, I gotta switch it up a little bit. You wanna follow me over in Facebook if you haven't already, and I wanna just wish you a wonderful, wonderful month. Um, just please like, share, and subscribe to these videos. I would appreciate that. And much love to all of you, and have a wonderful rest of the month. All right, stay strong, stay healthy. Much love, bye-bye.